Hello and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do solid modeling and what exactly it is, its function and how it'll improve your building. So the first thing you're going to want to do is insert a part. I already have two here, but I'm going to do it for sake of example. And since my mouse is over there, implemented over there, it deployed with the material and color I had as seen here. And um, first thing you want to do is anchor this part. Now, before I get into it, you can insert parts by doing insert object, or you can go to your home tab or model tab, and it'll be there as well. Preferably, it'd be better if you inserted it in the model tab, since the solid modeling buttons are right here. And if you look here, you have three options. You have union, negate, and separate. Over the video, I'm going to get into how each of these work, what their purpose is, and how they work with other parts and one another. To begin with, you only have two options to work with, and that's union and negate. You can individually union a part, or you can union multiple parts. Now, since these aren't intersecting, they just become like, they become sort of like a group, except it's considered a union and it's affected by the solid modeling buttons. A group isn't, and it doesn't have that specific classification, so it won't be treated like a union. But you can put unions in groups as well, and the unions individually will act like a union, as it is told to be in the programming. You can also do other things like putting these parts together, and I'm going to show it right here for sake of example. You can make these both oil, for example, or um, rather, let's, let's do concrete. Let's make them like this. So they're going to start intersecting like this and it's going to look kind of ugly. It's not going to make it look good. You don't really want to necessarily rely on this. You want to make sure your builds are clean, but you can union them and it'll kind of split off the material and like equal it out. This way they're not really intersecting anymore. Another thing to watch out for when you're solid modeling is the material on the first part that you have selected will become the main material for both of them. So let's say I select concrete and then wood first it'll be concrete. Let's say I select wood and then concrete, it'll be wood. But the colors stay the same. This could change based on um, if you're using negate and union though. If you have the same color, these will combine and they will be neutral. And like I said earlier, the materials will just combine and it'll form like a smooth material that just flows with uh, the main one. Of course, you can separate these parts again by using the separate button in the solid modeling button area and this will turn them back into parts as they were before that's essentially it for union so we're going to go on and get into negative parts or the negate button so i've got this part here to help me this extra one and i'm going to press the negate button up here and this will turn this part into a negative part what the negative part essentially does is that whatever area it covers on the initial part that isn't negative it will essentially erase that from that part. That's the most simple way I can put it. The more complex way would be to annihilate the geometry of the other part and create new shapes. <laughs> Even that's sort of simple, but overall, yeah, it's not that hard. You put the part over another part and it just like erases from it. So let's say I have this negate part position over this part like this. It'll take out the shape right here that you see, this one right here on this line. So like I said, it'll take out that shape and if I press the union button with both the negative part and the, I don't know what you call this positive part, the regular part, and if you have them both selected, remember you must have them both selected for anything to happen. You can't just have one selected and press union and expect it to work with nearby parts. It won't do that. You have to have them selected and then you press union and it'll take out that area. Before I get any further though, once you've unioned those and it takes that area out, you can either press Control Z to undo your action and that will separate it, but if you're too far and maybe you reload Studio or you rejoin it and reload in Studio, you can go to the separate button, click that and it'll essentially undo all of your solid models, or at least the ones that you've selected. Now one thing to take note of is when you have two negative parts, the other negative part that you have selected will not take out an area or chunk of the other negative part. That's just not how it works. Similar to math though, you press the negative part and two negatives when multiplied make a positive and 
it will turn them both back into regular parts or like I said earlier positive parts I guess we can just keep calling them positive parts the other way to turn them back into positive parts is through the separate button this will turn them back into those positive parts individually or as a group when they're both selected or if you have many selected same thing and you can also union them to make one big negative part now notice when you union it it stays as negative part it stays named that way and it'll continue being a negative part one weird thing to look out for is if you have a union negative part or just a amalgamation of negative parts you cannot separate them after that because if you do separate them it'll just delete it out of existence i don't know what the reason is for that but it just sort of happens so uh don't separate when you've unioned your negative parts same thing goes for negate if you press negate Based on what I just found out, I think the only way to actually undo it is by pressing Ctrl Z or undo itself because you can't really go back without uh, un literally undoing it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and make something for you guys. I'll speed it up or something and then I'll get back to you once I've made it and you can watch over how I use the solid modeling and uh, how it goes together and I'll explain how I made it I guess. So what I'm going to make is one of those revolver type chamber things. I know it's kind of unoriginal or kind of weird for a choice of solid modeling, but I was thinking the chamber has a bunch of holes the bullets have to slide into and I can union the bullets and I can also negate from that revolver uh, loading chamber thing, whatever you want to call it. You'll see. So that was very basic. I'm going to actually go ahead and make another creation. This time it's going to be sort of like a diamond, I guess. This way it shows you more of how negative parts work and stuff like that. That way it's uh, just a little bit more complex than this because I really just made cylinders and threw them through a cylinder and then made more cylinders and threw a ball on the top of a cylinder and made a bullet and then boom, it was done. So I'm going to get right into it and make that pyramid type diamond thing. We'll see what happens. What I'd like you guys to know before I get finished and wrap up the video is something I just remembered and it's that when you separate your solid model, the last thing you did is the first thing that's going to get separated. So the last thing I did was add those lines as like extra detail to the diamond. And then once I do that, I can have all of them selected or just the union itself. I can press separate again and it'll bring back the other ones. But notice this as well. It'll turn those negates also back into positive parts. So let's say I press separate again, and now they're all positive parts. Everything's back to the original form. So sometimes clicking separate enough will bring you back all the way to all original parts. And I guess you could delete everything if you wanted. Otherwise, that's going to end it for this video. 
If you enjoyed or it helped, make sure to please help me by liking and subscribing and also sharing the video to your friends, family, whatever. Just share it everywhere. Helps me get recognized and especially as such a small YouTuber. So it would really help. Um, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.